The Mandarins by Simone de Beauvoir is a rich and multifaceted novel that explores the personal and political struggles faced by a group of intellectuals in the aftermath of World War II. The title of the book references the Mandarin class of imperial China, educated elites who serve the state. Here, the Mandarins symbolizes a similar class of influential cultural and philosophical leaders in post-war France, endeavoring to shape the ideological landscape of their time. The novel primarily revolves around two central characters, Anne Dubreuil and Henri Perron. Anne is a psychiatrist who is married to Robert Dubreuil, an older, respected leader within the socialist movement. Henri, on the other hand, is a writer and a journalist, a former resistance fighter who becomes increasingly disenchanted with the political climate of the time. Anne Dubreuil's life is fraught with internal conflict and a search for meaning. Her marriage to Robert, has become more of an intellectual partnership than a romantic one, and she seeks fulfillment and passion in her affairs, especially with an American writer, Louis Brogan, who is partly modeled after the real-life Nelson Algren, with whom Simone de Beauvoir herself had a relationship. Anne's existential crisis embodies the complexities of freedom and responsibility, central themes in de Beauvoir's philosophical work. Henri, much like Anne, is experiencing a sense of disillusionment. His idealism has been worn down by the realities of the post-war world. He becomes involved with Paula, a younger woman who helps him to reconnect with his passions and his writing. Henri's journey represents the broader struggle of the intellectual community as they grapple with their place in society and their influence on the course of history, especially in the shadow of the emerging Cold War and the Soviet Union's stance within the international leftist movement. The characters in the Mandarins represent a range of perspectives and experiences. On one side are those like Robert Dubrawl, who remain committed to a disciplined socialist movement. He works tirelessly to build a socialist France through legitimate and democratic means. In his character, we see the idealism of a pre-war leftist ideology, but also the jaded realities of mid-20th century politics. On the other side are characters like Dubrol's daughter, Nadine, whose nascent existential angst and relationship with a young, rebellious musician reflect the newer generation's impatience with old ideas and hunger for a radical break from tradition. Unlike their parents' generation, they are not bound by the same historical struggles and are free to explore newer, more radical ideas. While Anne and Henry struggle with their respective relationships, they also face deeper issues of ethical responsibility and political commitment. Anne is caught between her own desires and her responsibilities as a mother, wife, and professional. Henry's political commitments are tested by his disillusionment with the Communist Party and his subsequent attraction to the United States, where he briefly relocates. His return to France symbolizes a re-engagement with the complex, often disappointing political and intellectual life of post-war Europe. The relationship between personal and political themes in the novel is further accentuated by the characters, reflections on the nature of history, and their own roles within it. They debate the prospects for societal changes and grapple with the question of whether true progress is possible or if they are condemned to repeat the mistakes of the past. This philosophical questioning is paralleled in the character's introspective quests to find personal peace and purpose in an increasingly fragmented and seemingly directionless world. As the story unfolds, these intellectuals encounter various moral dilemmas and existential questions. The Algerian War for Independence becomes a profound point of contention, challenging the characters to consider the place of violence in the fight for freedom and justice. The novel illustrates how these concerns extend beyond France's borders, emphasizing the global interconnectedness of post-war ideological struggles. Over time, relationships fray, evolve, and reform. The intricacies of love, friendship, and rivalry are all deeply explored, with characters often navigating treacherous emotional landscapes that mirror the political upheavals and ethical quandaries they face in their public lives. Indeed, the romantic entanglements of the Mandarins are not merely personal dramas, but serve as metaphors for the larger conflicts and transitions impacting the world stage during this era. In the end, neither Anne nor Henry finds clear answers or definite resolutions.
Anne's quest for personal freedom and authenticity remains fraught with paradoxes and complicating life circumstances. Henry's political and existential uncertainties continue to challenge him, leaving him with a sense of unresolved struggle. However, it is in these ambiguities that the novel finds its strength, reflecting the complex nature of human life and the often contradictory desires and beliefs that drive us. The Mandarins ultimately provides a window into the lives of a generation trying to redefine itself at a time of great turbulence. Through the personal stories of Anne, Henri, and their circle, Simone de Beauvoir reflects on the broad scope of human experience with existential profundity and political insight. She captures the spirit of an age marked by philosophical reflection, political disillusionment, and the search for a new ethical framework. It is precisely the mixture of personal trials and broader social commentary that has rendered the Mandarins a significant literary achievement. Simone de Beauvoir's novel remains an important work for understanding post-war European thought, the legacy of existentialism, and the revolutionary spirit that characterized the mid-20th century. Its characters' struggles continue to resonate, and the intellectual debates it presents remain pertinent, providing readers with a profound look at the interconnectedness of individual lives and the grand movements of history.